Okay, hi everyone. Uh, here's update 2.7 of the Physics Vehicle Project. <clears throat> In this update, uh, first of all, I'm not gonna be recording the audio because I wanna, I wanna hear you. But nah, I want you to hear me talk. And uh, yeah, so I've added engine sound, uh, drifting sounds, pretty much. Also, I've made the wheels separate from the vehicle mesh so that you can change the wheels, adjust their size, uh, use morph targets to uh, adjust the, the width or the, the height or the thickness of the, the tires and, you know, wheel customization. So I made them separate meshes. I also fixed the... Wait, I'm gonna need to uh, go to the forum for that. <coughs> yeah, I fixed the acceleration code again. And this time should be the last time. Uh, basically what I was doing before was calculating what speed the wheels should be turning according to the RPM and etc. And basically setting the angular velocity of the wheel. Uh, but that led to the car not having any torque at all. And adding torque on top of the angular velocity would just give me a bunch of uh, problems basically. So I didn't. <clears throat> and that meant that the car, if you tried to go up a hill, would not move forward. You know, the wheels could spin super fast, but as soon as something was blocking it, uh, they didn't have any strength. So, uh, now what I do instead is I add the right amount of torque for the engine torque, uh, the transmission ratio and the gear ratio, so I had the good value of torque, and then I limit the speed of the wheels to the angular velocity that the RPM would make them spin. Uh, which gives a lot better results. Uh, the next thing I did is bring back the old gear system, meaning that instead of having a min and max speed, you have a gear ratio, and then minimum and maximum RPM ratio to gear up and down. Because, uh, yeah, the only comments I ever got about the gear system was to bring it back like it was before. Because <laughs> it was more realistic, so yeah, I brought it back. The realistic way. Uh, the other thing I did, what was it? What was it? Oh, yeah, so the gear, the shifting system now uses RPM instead of speed, uh, meaning that when you start the drift and the wheels start over spinning, it's not gonna cause the transmission to shift gear because the wheels are going super fast. Uh, and because of that, it won't break the drift anymore. And uh, yeah, I've added, uh, for those of you who may not know about this, I've added a fuel system in the last update that you'll need to uh, keep an eye on because it actually saves the fuel value when you quit the game and it loads it back up. And every single car creates its own slot, a save game slot. So every car you put on the map is gonna have its own fuel and millage value saved in the game folder and load it back up again. <clears throat> so yeah, if you ever get in the car, you want to do some testing, if it doesn't work anymore, just uh, bring up the, the debug with Git and make sure you still have some gas. And if you don't, then you just click the infinite fuel, which will bring it back to the full, and then you can untick it afterward. And yeah, if you are uh, if you like to plan ahead, you can just come over here at the gas station Stop the car in the trigger box, get out of the car, and press F in front of the, the pump. <laughs> now, now it's full, so it's not doing anything, but you would usually see the percentage of fuel going up on top of the pump uh, on the text here. So yeah, you should do that before you run out of gas. And I also animated the needles. Now the speed needles is kind of going crazy because when the wheels start drifting, the speed goes up a lot. So I should probably add some kind of lerping in there to uh, make it smoother. But at least it's animated. So that will probably be for the next update. <laughs> and as you can see, you can do some pretty sweet burnouts with the new acceleration system in first gear. So yeah, that's another thing that was requested a lot. <laughs> uh, okay, the next changes are actually onto the main menu. 
if you see, you have now four cannons instead of three. I've added a little note here to uh, thank you guys for uh, watching my videos so that people on the forum can see this. And I've also added a about section where you can see all the features that I've got implemented in there. Stuff like that. What I plan to achieve with the project, you can read through it if you like. And yeah, I placed the option menu onto a wall because it's uh, transparent, so it's easier to read like that. That's pretty much it. I uh, plan on making a list of all the people who sent me assets to uh, put them in here too, as a kind of thank you note for all these people. And I think that's it for the menu. <laughs> yeah, I changed the loading screen a little bit. And so yeah, that's it. Better acceleration, shifting, fuel, a little bit of a menu change, stuff like that. Just generally fixing stuff that weren't realistic. Uh, of course that is using 4.17. So you'll need 4.17 to be able to open up the project. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's the update. It will be on the forum pretty shortly after you see this video. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Hey, I forgot to mention I also added uh, air drag force to the vehicle. So that uh, when you go kind of fast and you uh, release the gas pedal, then the car slows down because of the uh, air drag force. I have no idea where it. Oh, and yeah, there again. Thanks a lot, Ivan. Ivan from the forum for sending me that little screenshot of your blueprint. I feel like uh, that's something that was missing. Okay, uh, one last thing. I wasn't sure if it was actually a good idea to mention this on the video, but uh, I really, really want to get one of these steering wheels from Logitech. Uh, ever since I've seen in the, the changelog of the engine that they added support to these, I just want one to be able to uh, test it with the project. As you can see, it's, it's got three pedals, so clutch, brake, gas. And then force feedback too, whatever that means. But uh, yeah, it seems to be pretty cool from what I've seen on YouTube. People like it. And uh, you know, it's got all these uh, navigation buttons on it to get the menu, change the camera, whatever. And it also has these two triggers on the side for uh, shifting the gears in manual, so I don't need a shift stick. So I really, really want to get one of these to uh, be able to make it work in the project. Now the only problem is it's 400 Canadian dollars. So uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it's uh, ever gonna happen, but uh, yeah, just let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that implemented in the project. Like uh, how many of you actually own something like this? And uh, is it really a nice thing to have when you're playing or is it just a gadget? And uh, yeah, so just let me know in the comments what you think of that. And uh, if it's really worth getting one or not. And that's it. Thanks for watching.